Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers, the St. Louis Cardinals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. It's been quite a series so far, and the excitement's only ramping up as we get ready for Game 5. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration, but these situations tell us a lot about a team's character, and for some teams, it brings out their absolute best, but for others, it can kind of prove to be an overwhelming scenario to face, and so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go down. And on the hill in this one, Dakota Hudson. What do you have on him, Chris? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Here's Mookie Betts. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two outs, space is empty. Justin Turner now. The wind of the pitch. That clips the corner. to kick the pitch and he chases that one that's the third out nothing doing for the Dodgers here now the Cardinals will see what they can do there's no score you're watching Major League Baseball on the show we go to the bottom of the first and pitching for the Dodgers it's the rookie Dustin May well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Bottom of the first, here's a speed threat. Tommy Edmond. The pitch. So now one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. High fly ball, right field. Betts should have this one. And there's one away. Here's the Cardinals lineup now. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Here it comes. Up the middle. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. That is good. No left fielder. Tyler. 
Here's Tyler O'Neill. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And that one hammered way back there. And out of here. Tyler O'Neill sends it out. He's up to three home runs in the series. And the Cardinals have the lead now. It's 1-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here's Nolan Arenado. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Cards on the board first with this solo blast. It's now 1-0. here at the ballpark all set for the start of the inning here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit singing you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively he is the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field and the righty deals Swing and a miss. Two and, two and it's two and two. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Got him. And now one away. And up to the plate is Will Smith. One down, base is empty. And one and two. Righty delivers. Swing and he breaks his back. In plenty of time to first, and they get the out on Smith. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely sawed him off. Bat explodes. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. Two outs. Base is empty. And now it's Max Muncy. And the next pitch is way outside. There's a swing and a drive. That one's got a chance. And it's gone. Max Muncy leaves the yard. That's his third home run of the series. And this game is tied. It's tied at one. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So two away with nobody on. Chris Taylor getting ready to hit. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers tie it up with a solo homer. All even now at 1-1.
here in St. Louis. And the batter now, Dylan Carlson. Here's a one-two. Got him. Now one away. Here's Corey Dickerson. The designated hitter. The 2-2. Two -two. Dickerson. That's the ball. Down it's full. Bounced out to short. Turner with the throw to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Now Molina at the plate. Here's the 2-2. Stays alive. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Redbirds down quietly. Score remains tied 1-1. Welcome back out of the third inning. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. This one in the air center field. And there's one down. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. The 1-1. One, one. Bounce to the left side. Over to Goldie. Score at 5-3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. Back to the top of the lineup, and now it's Mookie Betts. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two-two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Line to left. Makes the grab on the run. And that ends the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. As we go to the last of the third. Now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. even up. Oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is filled up. And he deals. And that one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And there's ball four. 
Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And now Bader up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. And the right hander deals the punch out there. And that's the first out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Tommy Edmond at the plate. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two outs. Now batting. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's 0 for 1. De Young, the runner at first with two gone. The next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Got him. And that'll do it. So one left for the Cardinals. Still tied. 1-1. Here at Bush Stadium, out of the fourth, Trey Turner at the plate. Turner awaiting a 3-1. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Justin Turner. His first at bat was a strikeout. pitch in the dirt he is safe and the pitch the swing and a soft liner takes it in for the out And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And Boog, I'd say he's due. The pitch. Out towards left center. And that'll get down for a hit. The throw in. Head first slide safe at the plate. It's 2-1. And he's got a double. Well done. Drives in the run. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. The batter now will be Will Smith. Grounded out his first time up. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Rounder, that's through for a base hit. Here comes Freddie around third. Throw home, he beats it. And they lead by two. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. 
One down. Max Muncy at the dish. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch. And he walked him. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So first and second with one man gone. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. On the ground, could be two. Takes it to the bag, that's one. On to Goldschmidt, that's two. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Dodgers three, and the Cardinals one. Ready to go, bottom four. Now the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. The wind of the pitch. Well, after putting up a That's nice inning ball. on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. That one ripped. Bellinger makes the grab. And O'Neill is retired. And there's one down. Third baseman. And next is the Cardinals four hitter, Nolan Arenado. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Kicks and deals. Line and a base hit into right. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Got him swinging. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. There's Dickerson now. 0 for 1 so far. Dickerson. Here comes a pitch. On the ground to the left. Throw on to Freeman. And the inning is over. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Dodgers three and the Cardinals one. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now it's Gavin Lux. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Strike two. One and two to count. In the air to left center, O'Neal heading to the alley. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One away. Here's Cody Bellinger. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Line drive, and a base hit right there. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now it's Mookie Betts. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but... When he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Righty to the plate. 
On the ground to second, might be two. Over to DeYoung. And it's a double play to end the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Cardinals one. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Yadier Molina. The pitch. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Tying run at the plate. And that's outside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Harrison Bader next up for the Cardinals. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a pitch. In the dirt, blocked. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down because of... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And no one can get there. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Tommy Edmond now at the plate. Ball to strike. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And the pitch. This to third. Turner handles the chance. Tosses to first. And they get Edmund for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate.
now to short. Turner with the throw to first. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And that's the third out. So the Cards strand a couple, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, and now the shortstop, Trey Turner. The 1-1. One -one. Foul ball there. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Brandon Waddell, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Whitgren, the right-hander, also getting loose. Kicks and fires. In the air, center field. Bader, as this one sized up, makes the grab, and there's one down. Here's Turner now. The wide to kick the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Edmund gloves it. And Turner is retired. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Two outs, base is empty. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And up next for Los Angeles, Will Smith. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. And here it comes. That's a laser base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back to back singles. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here comes the manager out of the Cardinals dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Dakota Hudson will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Brandon Waddell. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Freeman, the lead runner out at second. Smith on at first with two down. Not the easiest yeah. thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Pitch misses inside. Ball two. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Carlson makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Redbirds bullpen comes through. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Dodgers 3 and the Cardinals 1.
And now Tyler O'Neill. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. a swing and a miss and there's one away man I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call he probably should have got it he didn't let it affect his focus and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging here's Nolan Arenado and the right hander deals and he pumps it a strike Right-hander kicks deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Well struck left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Wow, that one almost got out of here. I know the wind's blowing out to left, but man, that almost pushed it over the fence. I bet guys are trying to get the ball up in the air and hit it that direction. I know I would be. Corey Dickerson, next up for the Cardinals. Stays alive. And that one almost got him. And he deals. Lace down the line. Cook the extra bases. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Well, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high-leverage spot right there. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Next pitch misses way outside. At the belt and fires. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Rustar Grotterol looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Price warming up as well. Two outs. To the right side. Freeman takes it himself, and that is the inning. So the cards strand a couple. Score holds. It's 3-1. Here in St. Louis, we go to the top of the seventh. Chris Taylor now. The wind of the pitch. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Out towards right center field. Bader drops steps, heads back on it. One down.
Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The one two. That's the ball. Two and two is the count. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Molina to first, and it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Left-hand hitter waits. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's a 2-1. And a foul ball. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. Dodgers down in order as the lead remains 3-1. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Rustar Grotterol. And he'll work on holding this lead. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul DeYoung. And a pitch. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Makes it safely. It's a leadoff double in the bottom of the seventh. So digging in, Harrison Bader. One for two. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So the lineup flips over. Here's the second baseman, Tommy Edmond, for the fourth time tonight. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Puts a bunt down. And foul ball. On the ground right side, four, six, three, but it's not in time, and they just get one. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Two on, one out. Paul Goldschmidt, the next to hit. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Three and two now. He swings and fouls one off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Young at third, Edmund at first, one gone. Got him! Huge strikeout there. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something, pick up his teammate and his club. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, David Price. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. It's 
Tyler O'Neill will hit next. And a 3-1 on the way. There's a strike. Up the middle, and he can't come up with it. No throw, and a run scores. So two down. Now at the plate, Nolan Arenado. 2-2 two -two now. Got him! Good job at damage control right there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We're at the top of the eight. Here's Mookie now. the count two and one well struck right field way back there pulls it in on the warning track well those can be pretty fun as an outfielder got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down nothing better than that you feel like a wide receiver playing football here's Trey Turner he's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game Two two now, and that one missing low. Moving in the bullpen, Henesis Cabrera getting ready to go. And now the lefty swing and a ground ball out to short. Zips it across. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Justin Turner steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes. That ends the frame. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Daniel Hudson, trying to protect this lead. Back here at Bush Stadium, out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's going to be Dylan Carlson. Swing and a miss, and the count is one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Craig Kimbrell, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-handed reliever. Got him looking. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, 
I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Corey Dickerson getting ready to hit. The tying run at the plate. Makes the catch for the out. Now that, the catcher, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina next up for the Cardinals. one now that's to third Turner to first and Molina is retired gets him easily ends the inning we're on to the ninth now in game five it's the Dodgers three and the Cardinals two and now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. And a 1-1. One -one. And misses inside. The pitch. To the right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Pretty much did the opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Next pitch is outside. He deals. And there's a the ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Goldie moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Here comes Max Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Muncy hits one in the air. Carlson under it. That's out number two. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Chris Taylor. The pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Bader on the move to the right. He makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. 
8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Dodgers three and the Cardinals two. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. Back here in St. Louis, all set for the bottom of the ninth. Now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. One run game, bottom nine. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Here comes a pitch. Left field. Taylor settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Now batting. Center fielder. Harrison. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one fouled off two and two. Righty to the plate. And now it's three and two. Home team down a run. And the home team trying to pull it out. again and it remains three and two kicks and deals fly ball down the line Betts is on the move he's got it out number two the batter number 19 second baseman and up next for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Line drive, and a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. It's been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll help. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Kimbrell keeping an eye on him. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. And now here is Paul Goldschmidt. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Just one strike away. And now two and two. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? And that does it. They win the pennant. They are champions of the National League. Congratulations to the National League champions. These guys clearly excited, and they deserve every bit of this moment. Enjoy it, fellas, but get yourselves ready for the biggest series of your lives.
for my partner Chris Singleton and our great crew. Thanks for watching the National League Championship Series on MLB The Show.